Hello, Dead Pit fans. Um, I've gotten a lot of messages and a lot of comments on the YouTube page over the last day or so um, since the news broke out about the tragedy that happened with uh, Lou Perryman, who uh, was killed this past week. Um, he was murdered. And um, it's really been one of the strangest things to happen to the horror genre in general um, in quite some time. I mean, I don't know what to, I don't know what to think of it. Um, Lou Perryman, I won't say that we were close friends with with him at all, but it's one of those guys that always tried to stay in contact with us after we did the interview with him last year. And um, the worst thing of it all, as far as we're concerned, is um, I, th I guess it was like two weeks ago, he left a voicemail on um, the Dead Pit private, you know, the office number, I guess you would call it, and just wanted to bullshit. I think he was a little drunk. <laughs> Um, but I mean that was the type of guy he was and I, I, stuff like this is hard to do but I know people wanted us to to say something about it and we'll probably talk a little bit more about it on the on the Dead Pit show next Friday but we wanted to do something cool um, to maybe pay a tribute to to the man and how cool of a guy he was and he was one of those guys that nobody had a bad word to say about him from what I've heard. I mean, I know that uh, we talked to uh, Michael Felcher um, about him before. We were just talking about how a, how a funny guy he is and just a great overall guy. And he worked, I know Felcher worked with uh, uh, the Dark Sky DVD release of uh, the original Chainsaw, which he was a cameraman, assistant cameraman on. And uh, of course, the star. In Texas Chainsaw Massacre too, one of the stars, and he worked on the DVD of, of, of that one as well, and just had a lot of great things to say about him. And we couldn't, we can't say anything but great things about him. And um, the shit that happened this past week is awful. And uh, if anybody sees this that's related to Lou Perryman in any way, um, our condolences for sure. And um, I mean, I don't know what to say, really. But what we're going to do for the fans this week, uh, tonight, actually, on uh, Saturday Nightmares, I thought it would be a cool thing instead of doing a regular chat. We'll have a chat as well. Um, I want to play the entire interview we did with Lou Perryman, unedited, on the show. It'll be at midnight, roughly midnight. I'm not going to say exactly midnight, because... Uh, anything can happen but uh, I think that's what we should do and um, I know somebody else we we talked to Jay Real and uh, he and Ray Boucher interviewed Lou um, last year as well at the uh, one of the Texas conventions and um, they were really hit hard by it as well <laughs> this always feels odd to to actually be completely serious but I mean this is one of those things where it's 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 damn serious so anyway we're going to pay tribute to the man tonight if you can join us you can hear the entire interview unedited and if you knew him you can share if you ever met him you can share stories in the chat I just thought it would be the right thing to do and uh, because I know the Santa Wasteland shows this weekend. He was scheduled to be at that. That's got to be really odd for the fans that are there to know what happened. So, anyway, that's all I wanted to wanted to say. Um, rest in peace, Lou Perryman. <laughs>